Hello friends, this is Deepak Tiwagi. Again, cordially welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I am going to discuss on conservative system, generalized momentum, and conservative theorem of energy. So, at first, we will define conservative system. Conservative system may be defined as a system in which the forces are derivable from the potential function V depends only on position. That means we have del V upon del Q K dot is equal to 0, which we may discuss in a uh, further. Now, generalized momentum. Question is how we will define generalized momentum. For this, we consider a conservative system and let L is Lagrangian. L is Lagrangian function. Then, del L upon del Q K dot is equal to del upon del Q K dot into T minus V. Why? Because L equal to T minus V. So, this equal to del T upon del Q K dot minus del V upon del Q K dot. Now, since system is conservative, so V depends only on position. That means del V upon del Q K dot is equal to 0. So, this term will be 0 and remaining term del T upon del Q K dot. Since here T is kinetic energy and kinetic energy T is defined as T equal to summation K half mk qk dot square. So we put here value of T then del by del qk dot summation K half mk qk dot square. That implies when we differentiate this then Two a half into two m k q k dot. So we may write del L upon del q k dot is equal to m k q k dot, and this term we assume as equal to p k, and this p k is generalized momentum associated by generalized coordinate q k. That is generalized momentum generalized momentum pk is formulated by pk is equal to del l upon del qk dot is equal to mk qk dot where qk dot is time derivative of generalized coordinate qk our next lecture on conservative theorem of energy Conservative theorem of energy. Its statement says if Lagrangian L does not contain time explicitly, then total energy of a conservative system is conserved. For proof this, we let a conservative system in which L does not contain time explicit according to statements. Uh, we consider a conservative system in which Lagrangian L does not contain time explicit. Then del L upon del T is equal to 0. It is called equation number first. Now since we know that the Lagrangian function L is given by L equal to L of QK qk dot t that implies dl upon dt is equal to summation k del l upon del qk into dqk upon dt why because l is the function of qk qk dot and t so we may write it summation k del l upon del qk dot into dqk dot upon dt plus del l upon del t dt upon dt this value given one but by first we may we have del L upon del T is equal to 0. 
so this term will be zero and the remaining term as summation k del l upon del q k q k dot why q k dot because d q k upon t t is written as q k dot plus summation k del l upon del q k dot into q k double dot next this term this complete term we may write as d by dt del upon del qk dot into qk dot d by dt del l upon del qk dot into qk dot plus summation k del l upon del qk dot qk double dot because by Langerian formula, we know that d by dt del l upon del qk dot minus del l upon del qk is equal to 0. So, by this equation, we have the value of del l upon del qk is d by dt del l upon del qk dot. So, we have replace here del l upon del qk by d by dt del l upon del qk dot. This total terms we may write as summation k d by dt del l upon del qk dot into qk dot. Now, we can write its d by dt summation k del l upon we may write d by dt summation k del l upon del qk dot into qk dot minus l is equal to 0. Since d by dt, so we may integrate then we get summation k del l upon del qk dot qk dot minus l is equal to constant. Since we may, we know that del l upon del qk dot since we know that del l upon del qk dot is the value of pk. So, we will replace del l upon del qk dot by pk. That implies summation k pk qk dot minus l is equal to constant. Why? Because, because pk is equal to del l upon del qk dot that implies summation k mk qk dot into qk dot minus l why because pk is equal to mk qk dot that implies summation k mk qk dot square mk qk dot square minus l is equal to constant. Since we know that summation k mk qk dot square is written as 2t. Why? Because t equal to summation k half mk qk dot square. Also Langerian L is given by L equal to T minus V. So, we may write in place of mk qk dot square 2t and L is replaced by T minus V. So, we have 2t minus T minus V is equal to constant. So, T plus V is equal to constant. That implies total mechanical energy that is kinetic energy and potential energy is constant. Thus, when Langerian L does not contain time explicitly, then total energy of a conservative system is conserved. This is a complete proof of conservative theorem of energy, in which whenever L does not contain time explicitly, then the total energy of a conservative system is conserved. Our next video is on conservative theorem for generalized 
कंजर्वेटिव थ्योरम फॉर जेनेलाइट मोमेंटम एंड आल्सो वी विल डिफाइन साइक्लिक कोऑर्डिनेट थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो